call for recovery from one of our own. We have two trucks to recover, one customer and one little wrecker Dodge. I just forget sometimes where I put my drinks and then like I see a vehicle driving past and I'm like, oh yeah, there it is. And I always smash them like that so you always know they're mine. That way when like you're in a group setting, it's like, it's obviously against the street. Just uh, loaded up the Sisu Natsu and the Bro Dozer on our uh, low boy, and we're getting ready for a uh, recovery. Where are we going? Not exactly sure. Somewhere south, but in lots of snow. Are you sure it's south? <laughs> I thought it was south. Maybe it's north. Maybe it's east, west, up, down, another planet. I don't know. guys that's what time it is it is gift giving season and i'm going to show you one of the best gifts you can get for anybody on your list or even just for yourself sponsor of today's video right here we have a water bottle this is from a company called air up inside here is just regular water but when i take this magic little pod that comes with my water bottle and put it on the spout and sip it so what they've done is they've created these flavor pods, right? All sorts of different flavors that snap onto the spout of your bottle. As you sip, it aerates the water, runs it through this flavor pod, and then your olfactory sensors in your nose, basically the, what you smell with, is smelling orange. And so your taste buds are thinking, oh, we smell orange, so we must be tasting orange. So you actually taste what you're smelling, even though there's no sugar, no chemicals, no additives, nothing has been done to this water just clean, pure, clear drinking water. So what AirUp has done is they decided to hook you guys up. Since you guys are strong, solid supporters of the channel, they said, let's give your viewers 30% off. So all you gotta do is click the link in my description below, go to the website, place an order, boom, you're getting 30% off. You're gonna get yourself a water bottle, get yourself as many different flavor pods as you want. Guys, I'm telling you, you will not regret this. This has completely, it's such a simple, small, seemingly insignificant thing, but man, it's a game changer for me because now I'm drinking more water, it tastes better, and I've been sharing it with my friends and family, and they all love it as well. So listen, 
Thank you, AirUp, for sponsoring the channel, and thank you guys for supporting our sponsors like AirUp. Now, if you want to get the best gift in the business, click the link in the description below. Get your AirUp bottle and flavor pods now, 30% off. It's winter, There's snow on the ground, and we are in one of my favorite places in the world. This is uh, Logan Canyon, tucked right between Logan and Bear Lake. And as you guys know, we spend a lot of time in the winter up here at uh, Beaver Creek Lodge and at a cabin up here. Just one of the coolest places in the world. And we got a call for a recovery from one of our own, Brian from Atlas Towing. You've seen him, he's got the, uh, that old wrecker dodge that we use and the big semi wrecker, basically all the wrecker equipment that we've been using. He got a call last night, I believe, to go save a truck that went about five miles in and got super snowed in. So they went in with their uh, little wrecker dodge and the radiator bolts came out radiator hit the engine fan and now it's leaking so we have two trucks to recover one customer and one wrecker of our own and I believe like I said they're between five and seven miles in on the snowy road so we used the W900 that we built for the giveaway which is happening right now which if you like this truck you should click the link in my description below pause the video go get entered to win because this giveaway ends in a few days it just pulled this gnarly canyon like no big deal so we're gonna unload the bro dozer Nasu, and go start this recovery do that. Did you get the walkout? No, I didn't have to walk out. I had people to call. For some reason, we had service in these mountains. So you went on a rescue mission. Six miles, seven miles? Six, seven, probably. We'll just call it bad information. Lack of preparation is what I call it, but it's bad information is what we're gonna call it. Drives in there, and the yellow bean breaks down on you. I'm not stuck, just for the record. Yeah, you're not Chuck stuck. Chuck didn't get stuck, it just broke down. You're dead in the water. You call plan B. Which was the Polaris Ranger, side by side thingy we got over there. Had a dead battery. Had somebody try and jump start it for me, ended up frying it. So yeah, did you walk out last night? Called Nate Smoot with Beaver Creek Lodge. They came out, got us. <laughs> At what time was that? Got to us at probably 1 a.m. Tonight should go a lot better. We're starting early. <laughs> I mean, not much. The sun's just about down. Yeah, he said wait till dark. Guys, it is officially a winter wonderland, and I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't fully ready for winter. I was like, oh man, it was such a heavy winter last year. Give us a little bit more warm weather. But now that I'm up here, I'm pumped. It's gonna be a good year. And this truck right here, ladies and gentlemen, the freaking bro dozer just absolutely dominates. It always just goes, it always works. Very like low maintenance. It's just a solid platform, but the way it drives through the snow it travels better than a snowcat, and it does like 20 30 miles an hour. I freaking love this truck! In fact, I love it so much that I'm thinking about building 
a new one uh, with a new body style Ford. Because this is, I believe, a 2011 or 13. So thinking about maybe doing a new body style and uh, making some improvements. Even though there's not many to make, we've kind of got this thing fine-tuned and dialed in the way we want it. I think it'd be cool to build a kind of a big brother to it. Probably not go much bigger because this is already about as big as, you know, is comfortable. You guys remember this little uh, Dodge Wrecker that we got? Awesome truck, very reliable. Um, but coming up this road last night, it was real bumpy and the bumps rattled uh, a couple of uh, bolts loose in the radiator. And rather than trying to fix it here on the trail, we're just gonna pull it out, put it on the record, take it to the shop and fix it. And then further up the road, we've got the other customer's truck that uh, is stuck, so. This Ram is not stuck because it does really well. It just can't go because it's not fluid. So if you're curious what the problem was, it's this right here. See the fan is right in there. This went back, hit the fan. She exploded. All right, so as you can see, we've got ourselves a stuck F-150. It's not that terribly stuck. He's just way back in here, five, six, seven miles off the road. And this is uh, deep. And these are not snow tires. Just kind of the perfect recipe for disaster. So we are going to uh, drag him out. I don't know if it's gonna drive, but not too worried about it because Rotozer seems to be doing really well in the snow. Oh, you guys don't have these ice scrapers? These are the newest, latest, and greatest ice scrapers. They just got to the market. They they act as a GoPro as well, but they also act as a really good, and I know everyone's like, an idiot, ruining a good GoPro. It's just this rubber piece, guys, so chill you. That's, go ahead, find me an ice scrape that does that well. So now we got the uh, F-150 towed to the point where the Ram was. 
So now we're hooking a rope to the Ram, to the F-150, and it's all gonna be pulled by Mr. Brodozer. Uh, we have the Sisu Nasu. We brought it just in case one of the vehicles is finicky, just in case we had a backup, and also because I wanted to test some new stuff that we installed on it to make sure it's running right. Look at this truck. Just look at it. Just like that, we are safe and sound. We got all the trucks back here to the main highway. Before we go, let me just give you one more sexy angle of this truck. This freaking truck. I wish everybody in the world had a chance to just drive this just once, because there's nothing like it. Huh, Alan, nothing like it. Ah, ah, he says. This is that moment, guys. This is that moment. That we're to the part of the recovery where I get just a little anxious for some excitement. That was the moment he was referring to. Hey you, don't forget to get entered to win that truck. Look how beautiful it is. Especially Victorious after a good recovery. Could be you. All you gotta do is get entered. Oh, did you wanna know how to get entered? <laughs> you gotta click the link in the description, silly goose. <laughs>